Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to stop running your entire business from messy email threads and scattered Google Docs. The platform that I'm talking about specifically is Fusebase. It's a really powerful all-in-one client workspace that basically allows you to deliver professional branded portals to your clients. You can organize your own internal knowledge and automate your busy work with AI, all from one single streamlined hub. Now I've partnered with AppSumo to give away a lifetime deal of Fusebase two codes in celebration of its launch on AppSumo. So to enter this free giveaway, just click the link in my description, enter your first name and email to instantly enter. Now this giveaway will end on Tuesday, October the 28th. Now Fusebase is back on AppSumo and one code starts at $79. Now if you are a solo business just working um, by yourself, I think one code could be uh, pretty sufficient. But if you are working with a team or many clients and also want all of these additional features, then you would need to start stacking codes. The most codes you can grab is 10 codes, which will basically give you all of the features. Now, all of the features do start at how many codes? Uh, five codes. And you will get the uh, white labeling, and I'll show you that in a moment as well. Okay, so I'm in my organization view. So this is essentially the highest level, and each organization can have multiple workspaces. As you could see here, I have one workspace and each workspace can have multiple portals. Now I have one portal in my workspace. You can see how many members are a part of it and also how many clients. Now, if you want to dig a little bit deeper into your portals, click on the portals tab to view all of that information right here. You could also view a list of all of the clients that you've that you've invited into your portal as well. Now I am in my workspace. It's called Content Machine. And the workspace is organized into two main sections. You have your internal space, which will house all of the files you've uploaded and also all of the pages. You can also uh, list out all of your tasks, so on and so forth. And the second part of your workspace is the client portal. You could think of this as the external space or maybe even a mini website. The client portal basically displays information from your internal space in a much more nice, easy to consume way for your clients to the public. You could also use portals for your internal team as well so they can access information in a more easy way instead of going into the internal space. Now to improve the communication with your clients and also internal team, they incorporated this chat feature, which kind of reminds me of a Slack. There is a list of channels here. So this is the general channel. You can have private chats with individual team members and also clients that you invite. So this is another alternative. So instead of sending out tons of emails and have long email threads, you could use the chat function to communicate. So you can manage individual projects by creating individual uh, pages, okay? So you can start from scratch or they have a variety of templates that you can choose from. You can create things like business proposals, a client brief, organize your customer testimonials. They also have tons of client uh, templates as well and even some nice marketing uh, templates. So like a content calendar. If you do a lot of social media, they do have social media templates here. Let's try out this um, marketing plan. So I'm gonna click on show more and let's click on use template. Okay, and here we go. So our campaign management is split into three sections. So there is a planning phase, content development, and campaign promotion. Now at the top, they also have this outline here. So you can see at a high level what is in uh, your page. So this is very similar to Notion. You can go in here and maybe add a row below here so you can add additional information. You can update the status. So for this one, maybe it's high, you could do that. And you could also add um, more details um, below all of these tables as well. Even additional elements. So you can add a Kanban board, a task list. They even have this file uploader so you can clarify what files your clients or team members need to send. They've also incorporated AI so you could use the Fusebase AI. It'll help you um, improve your content, get new ideas, and make personalized recommendations for you. You can record audio, video, 
Um, there's integrations and then there's these basic text formatting options as well. So I added this upload files element. So when a team member is on this page, they can basically drag files here to upload it. Now you can also share this with others as well, like say for example, your clients. So if you click on share, you can enable the shared link. And as you could see here, it's actually my own uh, custom domain that I've set up. So if you want the custom domain, that's actually under the um, white labeling feature and you would need to grab five codes. If you want this to be private, you can add a password and you could also share the embed code as well. So you can embed this page on a website. Now to share this out even further in various formats, you could download this page as an HTML or as a PDF. And you do have the option to do a full export to HTML starting at three codes. You can also use AI throughout this tool, including um, these pages here. So if you click on work with AI, you could ask the AI anything or use the AI agents. Let's click on ask AI. So here you could ask the Fusebase AI anything you want. Maybe I wanna summarize this page. So if I click on summarize, um, the AI will essentially give me a summary of our campaign management page. I think this prompt could be really great for meeting notes that you um, add to your pages. You can also use AI agents. So if you click on use AI agents, they have a variety of agents. They currently have about 32 AI agents you can choose from. You could do an AI chat with web search. There's an AI uh, data extractor. There's even a LinkedIn contact finder. You could even generate um, post ideas and even scrape uh, web pages. Let's click on marketing strategy generator and see uh, what it gives us. So I filled out this form. So um, I just said my target audience is consultants and this is the product uh, service description. The marketing goal is to make more sales, um, budget, time frame, and channels. I said Instagram and TikTok. Now let's click on generate. All right, and here we go. So we have a one month Instagram and TikTok marketing strategy to drive sales from consultants. It gave us the um, overall summary, the targeting and positioning, offer and funnel, uh, so on and so forth. So looking at this, I think it's okay. It's kind of generic. I think if you use um, ChatGPT or Google Gemini, you might come up with, I think, a better uh, response. But I think where the power lies in these AI agents inside Fusebase is the fact that you could use the page as context. So if I have information on this page, it'll use that information. There is a mention about um, an email nurture path under campaign promotion. So let me see if I can ask it um, to create that email nurture path. Okay, here we go. So it actually gave us a very long um, output. So uh, journey overview, and it gave us um, a handful of paths. So path A, lead magnet, nurture, and all of these emails, path B, with all of these uh, emails you could send, um, behavior-based branching, recommendations, post demo follow-up, so on and so forth. So yeah, I think if you want to use relevant information from your Fusebase page inside the AI, I think that's where it'll be beneficial. But if not, I think ChatGPT is, I think, maybe better. Now, aside from the AI agents, they also have um, automations as well. So it's kind of like Zapier, but specifically just for Fusebase. So they call these automations flows, so you can start from scratch or use a template and they have a variety of automations here. If you are doing a competitive analysis, um, you can have the agent analyze your competitors updates every week and add them to a specified page. This one is pretty cool, customer objection tracker for video. So when you upload a video, the AI will transcribe the video. It will then analyze it and find all of like the objections and concerns and the results will be, pre will be presented on a separate page for easy review and follow-up. So it generates new pages from the video that you upload. So that's pretty cool. So I did create a flow here. So it'll transcribe a video that I upload and complete an AI summary and email that summary to me. So let me show you how it works. So I'm just gonna open up a new page and I'm gonna drag and drop my recent Audio Rista 
uh, video and have it um, upload. It's a pretty large file, but I'm gonna wait until it uploads and then it'll automatically transcribe this video. And then um, Fusebase will email me a summary of this video. Okay, so it is uploaded and it didn't take too long, maybe two to three minutes. So now it should be um, transcribing. You could manually transcribe this video, generate a summary, um, meeting notes, and also ask AI about this. Now, if I go to my um, automation, click into my flow, or actually, okay, so this is the flow if you wanna take a look. So you upload a file, it'll transcribe it, and then it'll ask the AI for a summary, and then it'll send an email to me. Okay, so this is the flow. And while I'm here, um, you can basically add different steps. Okay, so you can connect to things like Afri, Airtable, Asana, a CSV, Calendly, so on and so forth. Even add delays, connect to Discord, uh, Google Drive, Google Calendar. These are the core steps. So branch, data mapper, they even have a math helper. I mean, these are app actions here. But let me go to runs. And as you could see, this is my latest one and I believe it's still running. But let me go back here to my main automations view and go to runs and yep, so it is currently running. The video is kind of long, so I'm gonna wait for it to finish running. Okay, so it's done and it automatically emailed this entire summary uh, to me. And you can see here, it has my logo. So this is the white label option and I'll show you how to upload your own logos um, in a moment. But this is um, basically the summary of my video. At the end, it also gives you um, some key takeaways. And then if you click on go to page, um, it'll take you to this page. So if I wanted to, I can add more information here, add a summary below this video, add more content, so on and so forth. And then I can click on add to portal and then click on add page. And now I am in my portal view. So this is more of like a public facing view, kind of like a mini website, like I mentioned earlier. So on the sidebar, this is my Audio Arista review page and the contents of that page is right here. Now let's step back and let me show you um, the portal that I have. So you could see here, it does have my logo here. Um, this is one of the themes on the left-hand side. It's kind of like the navigation. You can create different boxes for different information and your clients can log in here, get the latest updates from you. Even your team can come into here as well to get updates. Um, this is the page that I moved to my portal. Um, meeting notes, you could take a, take a look at the meeting notes here, invoices if you want to have them for your clients, so on and so forth. So this is essentially like a website with all of your business information. So there's three main sections for your portal. So you have the sidebar content, which is right here. You also have the top bar content and then the footer content. So you could think of this as like the menu. So you could see files, chat, task, dashboard, it's right here. And then footer content, I don't have anything. Um, it's just, you know, a link to the website. That's essentially it. And then on the right hand side, this is where you can add blocks, which are in the middle right here. So you have your announcements, to do list, uh, so on and so forth. And then you can change the title for the button, um, change the layout, and do all of the little nitty gritty edits. Um, and on the right hand side here. There's also um, different styles you can choose from. So I have this ultramarine style, but if you want something like this, you could do that. Something maybe darker like this. This one looks pretty cool. So a different theme settings you can choose from. You now again, you can share these portals uh, with your clients and maybe to the public. So you can set up this client login settings. So this is the login page of my portal. Okay, so you could see on top my favicon. I have to figure this out. I'm not sure why it's not my custom domain. I have to look into that but it does have my logo here. And then to access the portal, you just enter your email. Now, when it comes to the custom domain, you set that up under settings for your organization. This is where you add your custom domain and then you can set it up. So um, it does say enable unified portal link. I did toggle that on. So this is a single URL will lead each client to their dedicated portal. So you could see this 
Portal Link is my custom domain. And when it comes to inviting members into your workspace, you can click on this icon here and um, do the manage organization. So this is one member here. You can click on invite member and it'll take you here where you can add additional members. You can select their role and then add their email and then select which workspace they can access. And if you want read only, create and edit or admin rights. And after they sign up, um, do you want them to go to your workspace or to your portal? And regarding the white label features, um, you can add your own logo to your workspace. So if you click here, you have th um, three branding options. So for public pages, uh, the web client, and the AI assistant. But unfortunately, I don't have access to brand the AI assistant. I do need to upgrade, but for any public links that you share, you can toggle on or off um, the top bar. And that's essentially this part right here. So I can toggle that off and it'll disappear. And then this is where you um, upload uh, your logo. So you can set your logo here and also the favicon. Now, one thing that I'm trying to figure out is I don't see where it has my current favicon and my logo. I wish I could see what I already uploaded. So it's a little um, confusing. Um, as you can see, this tool has tons of features, different areas you can navigate to and explore. So keep that in mind. So overall, I think this is a pretty robust tool, tons of uh, features, a lot of AI integrated into this tool as well. So this is something that you could use uh, right away, but keep in mind that it does take a while to understand what everything is, what everything does. But once you get the hang of it, Overall, it's a pretty powerful tool um, that you could use to help organize your own personal um, processes, information, and also communicate with your internal team and also your clients.